Most of us don't have an eye-popping net worth like the famous investor Warren Buffett or the CEO of Tesla, Elon Musk. Just because you're not that wealthy doesn't mean it's pointless to know your personal net worth. In fact, it can be a pretty helpful tool that many people fail to utilize. Knowing how much money you have is beneficial because you can keep track of your progress and see improvements over time. It's also nice to know how yours stacks up to your peers, not for the sake of competition, but just to know how you're doing compared to the average person. These are the average net worths by age from the Federal Reserve Board Survey of Consumer Finances so you can see how yours compares. Watch to the end to see the best ways to increase your net worth so you can easily surpass the average person. My name is Chris, and I help teach people about money, personal finance, and investing. If you're interested in improving your financial future, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button if this video is helpful. Firstly, it's important to know how net worth is calculated. Some people mistakenly assume that net worth is determined by your annual income, but that's not the case. Simply put, net worth is what you own minus what you owe. The assets that you own would primarily be your home, cars, and anything else that has any value. Things like bank accounts, investments, your gold watch, and diamond jewelry. If your home is worth $500,000, your cars are worth $50,000, and other small assets total $10,000, the total would be $560,000. However, this doesn't equal net worth as debts haven't been considered. If you have a $300,000 mortgage balance, $40,000 in car loans, and $3,000 in credit card debt, that's a total of $343,000 in debt that must be subtracted from the total number. Subtracting the debts from the total value of all assets, it would leave a total net worth of $217,000. As you can see, this calculation has nothing to do with how much an individual earns. The Federal Reserve Board conducts a survey of consumer finances every three years to collect information about family incomes and net worth. The most recent report was conducted in September 2019 and released in 2020. Although the study isn't entirely up to date considering recent high inflation rates, it should still be a relatively accurate representation. The study found that the mean or average net worth of U.S. households was a surprisingly high $748,800. It seems like the average person wouldn't have that much money but the ultra-rich households of billionaires and multimillionaires drive the mean extremely high. Looking at the median, or midpoint value, gives a better picture of the everyday person that you see on the street, probably someone more comparable to yourself. The overall median net worth of U.S. households is $121,700, which is a more reasonable number that can be easy to surpass with some effort. For someone who is under 35 and the head of the family, the median household net worth is just $13,900. This could be due to a variety of factors. People this age are at the beginning of their careers and haven't started earning a healthy, stable income. They might have student loans, making it hard to raise that net worth number. They probably either just purchased a home or haven't done so yet, and this can have a huge impact on your net worth. According to the Federal Reserve, Homeowners have a median net worth of $255,000, while renters have an average net worth of just $6,300. Additionally, they might not have begun investing for retirement due to lingering debts or too low of an income. Even if they have, it can take a long time for investments to snowball and begin earning an appreciable amount of money. People in the age group of 35 to 44 have a median net worth of $91,300. At this time in their lives, Financial progress picks up a little. A career has usually been established and incomes have increased, but new responsibilities also arise with growing families. The purchase of a home has probably aided in this net worth growth as they are paying their mortgage down and owning an appreciating asset instead of renting or living with family. Retirement accounts have hopefully been established and are being added to on a regular basis, but many people haven't begun to think about retirement yet, if they do so at all. The 45 to 54 age group sees steady growth to $168,600. While there aren't always as many life changes from the previous age group, some households are beginning to see kids move out, which may or may not aid in the family budget. These aged families are usually in a similarly priced home as they were previously, aside from the occasional upgrade to accommodate a growing family. Still, 
Many fail to begin planning for their future due to lack of understanding of investments or due to the failure to realize the need to invest. Debts sometimes become larger and more luxuries are common because people feel that they deserve it because they work hard. Those aged 55 to 64 see a small jump to $212,500. Adding to the circumstances of the previous age group, the housing situation probably hasn't changed much. Perhaps some families decide to downsize their home and their kids move out unless space is needed. Income usually plateaus at this point and begins decreasing due to less hours worked and less productivity. The fortunate ones see an improving situation due to growing investments, mortgages that are being paid down, and the ability to pay cash for other items instead of financing. Households aged 65 to 74 have a net worth of $266,400, up slightly from the younger bracket. With traditional retirement beginning around age 65, net worth is no longer going to grow like it did before. Some people are drawing on their investments, if they have them, and working less, if at all. Healthcare needs are on the rise and can make a big impact on the finances of those who are unhealthy with minimal healthcare coverage. Since these families aren't very old, a decreasing net worth at this point could endanger their retirement. Lastly, the 75 and older age group sees a decrease in median net worth to $254,800. This is the first age group where net worth actually goes down, but it's not always a bad thing. Spending the money you have left can be enjoyable, provided you're unlikely to run out. None of us know how long we're going to live, but why not treat yourself to a vacation once in a while as long as you're not going to run your retirement dry? Most people this age aren't working, and if they do, chances are their income isn't particularly high. Net worth is one measure of your financial situation and can help you track your financial progress. It can be useful to keep track of your net worth, but it doesn't really tell you when you'll be financially independent. Someone could have a net worth of $10 million but still need to work in order to pay their bills. For example, they could have an $8 million house and $2 million worth of exotic cars and no income-producing assets. On the other hand, someone could have a net worth of $200,000 but be retired. A better way to measure your financial health would be to know your annual passive income and your annual expenses. Growing your investments so that they provide more income is more important than obsessing over the entire value of your household. There are a few important ways to increase your net worth, which can ultimately help you become financially independent if you're not already. Paying down student loans, credit cards, and other debts that reduce your net worth should be a priority. This means you won't have to pay interest to lenders and your income will be freed up for other things. Secondly, Invest money into appreciating assets like real estate, businesses, or stocks and other investments that provide compounded returns. This way, your investments accelerate and snowball over time. Finding ways to decrease your expenses is another powerful way to become wealthier and there are many huge ways to save that you might not have thought of. Additionally, increase your income, not just at your 9-to-5 or main job. Create other sources of income from side gigs that can be directed towards becoming wealthier. Lastly, be patient and know that it takes time to get ahead, but if you follow these steps, building wealth is inevitable.